Before we get into the video, I would like to point out that I do think that this is one of the most creative games I've ever played. With outstanding visual art, sound design and original music, which all put together a very credible 30s cartoonish universe. So let's get into it. You might be inclined to think that Cuphead shouldn't be in the game's exposed list because it's an indie game. But don't be fooled. Even though it's an indie game, its writer, Evan Skolnick, has a lot of experience, being the current franchise lead writer for Star Wars and the writer of big titles such as Marvel Heroes, Mafia 3, Dying Light and many others. As soon as the game starts you are greeted by the imagery of Cuphead and Mugman, the protagonists of the game, who are depicted in the red and blue colors, which are also the main colors of choice for the Freemasons. As we see these characters, a song is played that summarizes the plot of the game for us. Well, Cuphead and his pal Mugman, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid the price. Paid the price. And now they're fighting for their lives on a mission fraught with dread. And if they proceed but don't succeed, well, the devil will take their heads. These lyrics remind me of the plots from the music industry. When artists sign deals with the Illuminati, and if they don't respect the deal, the devil will take their heads. Forget about friends. Forget about family. Forget about love. You're mine, Johnny Blaze. So we go on a journey to fight some beasts and collect their soul contracts to give to the devil. In doing so I have noticed some interesting creatures that I think are presented with more Illuminati symbolism. As Cuphead fights this carrot monster, observe how a third eye appears on him which shoots his most powerful attack. Also notice how his two eyes appear mesmerized and possessed but the third eye is not. Is the carrot controlled by the all-seeing eye? Next we have this horned sheep with five pointed star eyes. It's all good, they're supposed to be evil monsters, right? Oh look, an all-seeing eye and a wall, and some cars that have the all-seeing eye on them. In the same level, the checkerboard floor appears on the background.
After beating an area or island, you need to pass through a gate controlled by the King Dice to go into the next zone. If you don't have all the soul contracts, you can't pass. Notice also the checkerboard floor while interacting with this King Dice, and how he wears the color purple, another important color for Freemasons. The top three colors in Freemasonry, from my point of view, are red, blue and purple, and then the checkerboard floor. But purple just represents the unification of red and blue, or the two pillars unified in an arch. I'm Mr. King Dice, I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice, I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass, cause you ain't done everything. Bring me those contracts, come on, bring them to the king. Check out this next level, called Pyramid Peril where we have pyramids with all-seeing eyes, of course, shooting purple energy beams at us. More pyramids with capstones in this honeycomb. I'm sure that from an occultist perspective, there's some symbolism out there about bees and honey. In the game The Secret World, the bees are a manner of intelligent, self-aware phenomena. They claim to not even be limited by time, but to exist everywhere and every when, simultaneously. You also teleport from area to area with their help. Distance and time bend in here. Why, you can cross the globe in a brisk walk. The bee building in Cuphead seems to be the tallest from the town. But moving on, let's see what one of the very few NPCs in the game has to say to us. Let's be honest, fellows, shall we? There is a class of A-grade people, and then there is, well, everyone else. At the moment you seem like everyone else. And that means you cannot experience the world in the same way I do. When you reach the Devil's Casino, you first get to fight King Dice. Well, before that, you kind of have to play a game with him. This game brings you more bosses to fight inside the belly of the beast, or down the rabbit hole. I wonder if the dice was chosen for this character because the highest number on the dice is 6, or because the dice is cube-shaped, just like the cube of Saturn, which the Illuminati worship. So inside the cube of Saturn dice, there is of course a feast. Check out how in the background there is a demon staring at you with one eye, after which in the same spot a winged one eye appears. Inside the belly of the beast, the dead play cards. Here's a checkerboard design level. You even find the white rabbit, symbolizing that we are down the rabbit hole like I said before. A horse of the apocalypse level. In case you don't know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse are described in the last book of the New Testament of the Bible, entitled the Book of Revelation. If you look here, in the background you will see the white gloves. Who wear white gloves? Well, Freemasons do. Also in Fallout New Vegas there is a powerful society with cannibalistic inclinations called the White Glove Society. Notice how one eye of the 8 ball is slightly placed into the triangle of the background. After we are done with the bosses that are thrown at us, it is finally time to fight King Dice, or as we have established, the Purple Cube of Set. So after we are done with him we proceed towards the final step of this game, Meeting the devil himself. The game gives us two endings. We can either choose to give him the soul contracts, as well as giving the whole world under his control, or we can choose not to give the contracts, kick the devil's ass and liberate the world. What is interesting in the first case is that Cuphead's color is changed to purple, exactly the color that King Dice was wearing. The color purple is very important for some reason, for the Illuminati. If we choose to battle the devil, we get to do so while he is on his throne. Doesn't that throne remind you of something though? Oh yeah, the Illuminati are obsessed with it. It is interesting that after we beat him, and the positive ending starts, we are actually offered this image, which behind its innocence and positive message that we beat the devil, 
brings us into another trap. It's a trap! We have the devil staring at us in the center with one eye, we have symmetrical pillars on the left and right, and we have red on the left side and blue on the right side as portrayed by our protagonists, thus completing the Masonic pillar symbol with the old seeing eye in the center. So that's it guys, this is the Hengelian dialectics, no matter what path you choose, the Illuminati still win. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you find more symbols and connections feel free to post on my Games Exposed Facebook group. If you want to support the channel you can do so by pledging on Patreon. Thanks for watching, this is Games Exposed, signing out. Mm -hmm.